How's it going, YouTube? This is Steven, and I want to speak on a situation for a moment. Uh, this is about uh, Leslie Jones and the situ situation that she went through on Twitter. Um, as you guys may or may not know, like Leslie Jones, she starred in the remake of Ghostbusters. I believe the movie didn't do well. And, like, Leslie Jones has been receiving a lot of, like, nasty Twitter, like, racist Twitter harassment, or racist harassment via Twitter, you know, calling her, you know, you know, racial slurs and racially insensitive names directed at black folk, you know. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm like, why are people attacking her for? She didn't write the movie. She didn't make the movie. She didn't film the movie. She just starred in one role in the movie. Like, she's just one act actress in the movie. Like, why are people attacking her? Um, um, however, I do think that this might be sort of like a wake-up call for Leslie Jones because, like, a lot of black people have been, like, sort of accusing Leslie Jones of, quote-unquote, cooning. Um... <clears throat> You know, basically just um, being like such a stereotype, you know, like such like a such a blatant stereotype of what people probably think a black woman is. And also, um, I think black people did come at her on Twitter before all the racist stuff happened. Like they did kind of come at her on Twitter, not really in like, oh, let's attack Leslie Jones and, you know, drag her, you know. But more so, like, you know, hey, like, why did you take this role? Like, this role isn't really doing, isn't really portraying black women in a good light. Because the role, as I understood it, was like, it was like three white women and one black woman. Leslie Jones being the black woman. <clears throat> she, like, every, the white women were all scientists. But Leslie Jones was like a public transportation worker. Like, it's weird because in the original, they were all males, but all of them were scientists, I believe. Um, so I don't know why they wanted to make Leslie Jones not be a scientist. Also, some of the stuff she was doing in the film was a bit much, you know. Some people were talking about, like, you know, these, like, quote unquote, coon eyes and, like, bug eyes, like, really wide eyes. And also, some of the, like, some of the um, lines that she would say would be a bit much, you know, a bit stereotypical as well. So black folks kind of came at her on Twitter a little bit, but they weren't really trying to drag her, uh, you know, you know, really come at her like in a negative way, I don't think. I think it was more so just like, hey, kind of like, you know, why did you take this role? You know, sort of like that. And then Leslie was just all shrugging it off and acting like, oh, it's just, you know, it's fiction. Why are people getting so upset over fiction or something to that extent, you know? <clears throat> but fast forward a little bit later and now, like, Leslie Jones is being under um, attack from racist folk because they didn't like the movie. And I noticed how they blame the black woman for some reason. <laughs> like all these other people involved in making this movie, I'm pretty sure are not black people. Let's keep it real. Um, but yeah, for some reason they went for the black woman, you know. <clears throat> and also I'm like, okay, where are the feminine feminists at? The defend her like it seemed like not really a lot of people are defending her or coming to her um, defense not much um, and that sucks too because it's like hey you know when black women need help it seems like the feminists are MIA you know thus yet another situation where black women learn that feminism does not apply to them, feminism does not include them, and feminism is not for them. You know, it's not for you. You know? Um, but yeah, um, so 
I had like it does like I didn't like seeing her attack like that. Attack from a racial standpoint. I feel like they I feel like you know, quote unquote black Twitter probably came at it from a different angle. Because they wasn't like black Twitter was not attacking her. It was just asking her and having sort of like a dialogue with her. Possibly slightly aggressive at times, but overall, like black Twitter wasn't really going there with her. They weren't saying like, you know, the racist slurs, you know? <clears throat> and I know some, a couple of people bark up the situation of like, what if this wasn't Leslie Jones? What if this was, say, like, what if this was Zendaya Coleman? What if this was Beyonce or Rihanna and this happened? Do you think people would react a certain, react a different way? Do you think more people would have Leslie's back if she was more, if she looked more like Zendaya, Rihanna, Beyonce, you know? If she, I guess, more so fit into the beauty standard, do you think people would, like, be willing to kind of, like, have her back more? <clears throat> and I think so. You know, I I hate to admit that, um, but I think that probably would play a case. Like, let's imagine if Beyonce was getting these Twitter attacks, you know? Like, people go so hard for Beyonce. I think, you know, and partially because she's just Beyonce, but I think also because people like Beyonce, Rihanna, and Zendaya, they probably do view them as, I guess, related to femininity and, you know, beautiful, so worthy of being protected. While I think Leslie Jones, on the other hand, she doesn't fit into the beauty standard as nearly as much as the other three girl the other three ladies that I've mentioned you know <clears throat> and also I don't think any of her co-stars kind of chimed in on the situation either and they were probably just silent um, and celebrities were missing in action for a while um, I think regular folks did take to Twitter and you know come to her defense and you know record videos and show that you know she like they support Leslie and et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> um, and also, I think it got to the point where she kind of just temporarily quit Twitter for a while because it was just too much for her to handle. And also, one guy, um, I don't remember his name, it's like Milo something crazy last name. Um, he was on going on about freedom of speech, freedom of speech. I'm like, okay, you guys are saying what you want to say. So that is freedom of speech. No one has stopped you from saying what you want to say. But just because you want to say it doesn't mean that everyone has to react to it how you want people to react to it. It's like, you know, if I go up to somebody and curse them out and they attack me, okay, I had the freedom of speech and then I exercised that. To cuss them out and they exercised um, their freedom of expression by responding you know <clears throat> so basically just because you can have freedom of speech doesn't mean you can have freedom of consequence it's a difference you can't just go around saying you know what you want to say without any consequences you know that's not how it works and it took Twitter a while for them to actually kind of deal with the situation because she was getting harassed, you know. They were on it when it came to the Taylor Swift situation, like, snap, like, we're on it, Taylor Swift, we got your back. When, you know, Taylor got outed for being, uh, you know, shady, um, backstabbing, low-life mean girl, you know. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, it seemed like sometimes they just like with Fazelia Banks, it was like, okay, let's shut her down. It seemed like they kind of pick and choose when to kind of like, you know, exercise their right, like when Twitter ex I'm referring to. Um, like in certain situations, they kind of sit for a while, and other situations, they're right on it, you know.
And I don't know why that is, but I don't know. It could be like a racist thing, a racism thing, you know. Um, to be fair, I'm not completely sure, you know. But, you know, where, like, it seemed like no one was, like, coming to defend this, you know, dark-skinned woman. You know, it seemed like a lot of times dark-skinned women are kind of, like, left to just defend themselves in certain situations. Like, why? And really, dark-skinned women jump to defend, like, um, other black people, you know, and put themselves before other black people a lot of times, you know. So that sucks to see, you know, Leslie Jones having to go through this. And also, she wound up doing an interview with Seth Meyers and speaking on some of the things that people call her. And it was like, unfortunately, like she said, like, unfortunately, like the names that they called me, I've heard them before, you know. Um, she didn't specify coming from who, you know, as far as like race is concerned. Um, <clears throat> but she has heard them before, so that sucks too. But, you know, hopefully this could be sort of like a lesson for Leslie Jones, perhaps, you know. It's not just purely fiction. It's kind of like art, and you know how they say art imitates life or life imitates art or something like that. So yeah, like maybe Leslie Jones might be a bit more selective of the role she um, chooses in the future. I know she got to get paid and get her money, but sometimes, I don't know. <clears throat> and also some people have issues with how Leslie, like Leslie is on Saturday Night Live too. Um, and I think that might have to be do more so with like the parts that they write for her. But I guess they're like, hey, you're doing them. But I guess Leslie, like, you know, I got to get paid and I want to be an actress, you know. So that's probably why she's part of the reason why she's doing it. And also feeling like th these are probably just the roles that are available for me. You know, if she could have, I'm sure if she could be like, you know, the Disney princess or something, she probably would be the Disney princess. But if the roles aren't written, if the roles don't exist for women like Leslie Jones, then I, she probably don't really have much of an option when it comes to being an actress. You know, if they want to give her the loud mouth ghetto black woman roles, like if that's all they're writing for Leslie Jones, then are women who look like Leslie Jones, then I guess that's all their opportunities can be. You know, but on the other hand, if they are looking for, you know, the sexy black woman or the sophisticated black woman, the stylish black woman, they'll go for, you know, Beyonce, the Beyonce types, the Rihanna types, you know, the Zendaya types. So it's not purely Leslie's fault, I think. I don't think so. Um... And it is easy to blame the victim in this situation. Uh, and in a lot of situations, it's easy to blame the victim. Um, <clears throat> I do think that Leslie does play a part in this um, and has some culpability in this, but I don't think she is... She's not the only one who's guilty. You know, it's a lot of guilt to go around and to be spread around. <clears throat> Well, that's all I have to say for the time being, you guys. Um, so, thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to comment. Yeah. Adios and goodbye for now.